Well, my job is actually to beat the fact that people want to look at imagery in a literal way for information value uh, on a purely conscious level. Um, our society is trained that way to really read images on a surface level. Uh, though this is not applicable to my work, it's the same problem with what is called abstract art. Uh, the story of the mother looking at the Jackson Pollock and saying, my son can paint in this. Well, besides the fact that he didn't, it's a totally pointless remark to make. It's very much along the same lines as people asking me, well, what is it about? Well, there's no puzzle. There's no trick. It's about itself. It's about an orchestration of sound and image that creates an experience that is itself. Um, there are a number of things going on in the pieces on a conscious and on a subliminal level. Essentially, that is there to be engaged with by the viewer. The musical analogy is the most appropriate. You don't ask about a piece of music, what is it about? You understand it to be about itself. You're not looking to it for information or facts. You, you know it's there for you to basically take as stuff, as material, as experience, and make it your own through an engagement with it. Well, I've got the same job, but with pictures and sound. And I guess it's probably actually the most organic idea of what video music actually can be. And as a television artist, a media artist, I am very aware of the public. And actually, my works, though they're whole into themselves, really don't complete themselves until a public has seen them, engaged in them, and incorporated that into their own sensibility. And so each time the work is seen and engaged with, it's made whole again. And it's a very kind of charged idea, one that is very much behind the notion for me of what I do, of what my job is. And it's actually a notion that derives a lot from Duchamp, uh, the idea of the artwork as being made complete, not by the artist solely, but by he or she who encounters it and what they bring to it. Yeah.